Hello. Today we'll be discussing RPD anatomy. Abutment teeth exist on either side of the edential space. The framework connects the major parts of the RPD can be made out of cobalt chromium alloy, titanium alloy, polyether ether ketone, acetyl resin, or aryl ketone polymer. The artificial teeth are made of a cross-linked polymer connected to the denture base made out of heat-cured or millable PMMA. Towards the tissue, the denture base is called the intaglio surface. The intaglio surface of the denture base meets the metal framework of what is called the internal finish line. Similarly, the external or cameo surface of the denture base meets the framework of what is called the external finish line. The acrylic resin denture base is attached to the metal framework via a component of the metal framework, usually in the form of a lattice or a mesh, collectively known as the acrylic resin retention element. An essential component of the RPD that contributes to many of its functions is known as the clasp assembly. Retentive clasps engage tooth undercuts to retain the partial denture during function. Guide plates guide the partial denture's insertion and removal along the proposed path of draw. Reciprocation is provided by a rigid component of a partial denture. Counteracts the retentive forces by the retentive clasp to prevent possible orthodontic movement. Occlusal rests go into prepared rest seats on the tooth surface and support the partial denture by directing occlusal forces along the long axis of the teeth. Partial dentures should be passive and should only engage the tooth during insertion and removal and during function. This was a simple and quick overview of the different components of a partial denture. However, there is much more to the partial denture than just that. If you're interested to know more about partial dentures and how they work, please be sure to take a look at some of our other videos. We hope this video was helpful, and we'll see you in our next video.